right. Can we get started? I gotta get to a tribute dinner for the late great Robert Altman. We get it, Lindsay. You're a serious actress. <clears throat> This meeting of the secret DIA society will now come to order. DIA or die. <gasps> okay, I'll go first. I'm planning to drive the wrong direction down the 134 on Sunday the 16th. Damn y'all! I was gonna drop my baby that day, but I guess I can push it three days to the 19th. Uh, better make it two days, Brett, because I'm gonna change my hair color on the 19th and get into some drunken knife play with Miss Teen USA on the 20th. I'm also planning to show up late for work the entire week of the 24th through the 28th. So block it out, bitches. It's mine. How come you get a whole week when you're working with great artists like Meryl Streep, Jane Fonda, and Emilio Estevez? You can have a whole week to disrespect them. Back to me. So after my rest, I am going to miscarry and go into a coma, or go into a coma and then miscarry. I'm still working out the kinks. Either way, I am in the news the whole month. I've got an oldie but a goodie plan for the eighth. Can you spell DUI? Oh, I know this. D. Okay, D. D. Maybe I don't know it. But this time, I'm actually going to run somebody over. Jesus. Jesus is already dead, dipshit. No, he's not because I just found him in jail, and now he lives in my heart. If he's in your heart, you can't run him over. Brittany, do you think it's smart to be writing all the stuff down on gum wrappers? I have a system, y'all. Back off. Oh, yuck! It's my mother. <sighs> She's still trying to be me. It's like single white mom. What, Nina? Lindsay. What? Call me mommy. I have a schedule. You better not be out flashing your hoo-ha and sucking coke off some rapper's dick without me. <laughs> I'm calling because I miss you. I need some us time. Sorry, mom, but I have a Vanity Fair interview to be late for and twenty pages of lines to not learn. I get it, I get it. Your mom's an old fogey. Listen, on the way home, can you pick me up a dime bag, some Pinkberry, and a Latino busboy who still has his foreskin? Mommy's in a mood. Oh, sorry, I'm losing you. I hearing Lindsay, you. I, I need difficult. Lens section. Lens. <laughs> I can totally hear you. Lindsay. You're doing that. You're totally doing that. I'm not. You're faking it. It's really bad here. Okay, just will you send me a check? Pinkberry sounds so yummy. Hey, why can't we have food at these meetings? I haven't had anything to eat since I found that Cheeto between my toes, and that was two hours ago. Quiet, you guys. It's him. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, dipshits. Hello, Hello Charlie. Charlie. We know your name's not Charlie. We just like saying it. I'm looking at what you have planned for the next month, and you're doing a heck of a job. A heck of a job. I particularly like Nicole driving the wrong way down the freeway. Thank you, boss. <laughs> freeway. <laughs> I did a bit of backwards driving myself back in my coke days. You girls are probably too young to remember cocaine. Totally. Here's the situation. We're gonna have to kick our little distraction and action operation up a notch. Stay the course, dipshits. But I'd also like to see a surge of activity. Those of you who haven't been to the rehab, go to rehab. And those of you who haven't flashed your cooter, flash your cooter. What if you've already done both? Hell, shave your head again. I don't know. If I had any ideas, I wouldn't need you gals. I'm so scared. Don't worry, boss. We have lots of ideas. Good, because the fate of the free world is in your tiny, shaky hands. Goodbye, dipshits. Until next month. He's so hot. <laughs> it's just so fucking nice to feel loved, you know. <laughs> God damn it! It's Misha Barton. Ugh. Let's go. But it's still early. Anyone want to go to Hillary Duff's house? I've got the code to the gate, and I've got the vodka and Vicodin. I can't, y'all. I got to get home to my kids. <laughs> I'm kidding. I get shotgun. Die or die.